In this problem, we are approximating the Earth as a sphere of a radius 6.37 times 10 to the 6th power of meters. We are asked to find its circumference, its surface area, and its volume all in the form of kilometers. So kilometers, squared kilometers, cubic kilometers, any variant of those units. So let's start by finding its circumference for part A. Before we do any of that, however, it's important to note that since we are looking for units uh, derived from kilometers and the radius we're given is in meters, let's quickly make a conversion from meters to kilometers before we go any further. Sure, it is possible to just do the conversions after finding the answers for each part, but it'd be easier to do the conversion now. Otherwise, we'd have to make the conversion as an extra step at the end of all three parts of this problem. So to make the conversion, I have set up a chain link conversion here, where the conversion rate between meters to kilometers is 1,000 meters for each kilometer. And I have put the meters in the denominator so that the units cancel out, and we end up with kilometers. And that's how a chain link conversion works, roughly. So now we'll want to calculate this. And our radius is now six And our radius is now six point three seven times ten to the third power of kilometers. Now let's try finding the circumference of the Earth. Now, based on common formulas that I recommend you have memorized, or wait. Now, based on common mathematical formulas that, or, let me try that again. Now, based on common mathematical formulas that I recommend that you either have memorized or have access to some sort of reference sheet or some way you can look up the formulas, the circumference of a circle or sphere is equal to 2 pi times the radius of the circle or sphere, which in this case is the radius we were given. Now let's plug in the values we have here to find the circumference. So, plugging in 6.37 times 10 to the third power of kilometers in for r sub e, and plugging this into our calculator, and then rounding back to three significant figures so that our uh, number of significant figures match up, we get, uh, a circumference, we get a circumference of the Earth of 4.00 times 10 to the fourth power of kilometers. Now, part b asks us to find the surface area of the Earth.
Now, the common formula for the surface area of a sphere is 4 pi times the radius squared. So once again, we'll plug in the radius of the Earth we have into the radius. And that gives us a surface area of 5.10 times 10 to the 8th power of kilometers squared. And that is our surface area of the Earth. And for part C, lastly, we want to find the volume of the Earth. Now the formula for the volume of a sphere is 4 pi divided by 3 times the radius cubed. So once again, we are plugging in the radius of the Earth into R. And this time, we get an answer of 1.08 times 10 to the 12th power of cubic kilometers. And this is our approximation for the volume of the Earth. And now all three of these answers represent our approximations for uh, the circumference, the surface area, and the volume of the Earth as a sphere. And now, all three of these calculations represent our approximations for the circumference, the surface area, and the volume of the Earth as a sphere.